all right what's up guys and welcome back to new game plus today i got you guys a special video it's gonna be another of my tutorials for running your emulators using the jit uh but you guys already know i made a couple of videos on how to use the jit for your emulators and specifically for play the playstation 2 emulator um dolphin for the gamecube wii emulator in late lately on my latest video for using the dreamcast emulator flycast i show you two different methods of how to do this one of them is um, using also all jit to run those um emulators making it work so you're when you're running the emulator the emulator doesn't crash because most most of the time if you're trying to run the emulator for the first time you try to run the game it will crash it's because you need to have the g enable so i did a video on how to do this using all store in my other video which is uh, using this uh the second method which is my preferred method um as it is right now using jitterbug and i show you how to set it up and how to run it but right now there's a third method of how to do this is using a new new way using something called jit streamer i'm gonna have all the link down below in the video description how to um where to go on the uh to download the necessary files for this and also i'm gonna have a link linking you to the original post with the uh, post that was posted on reddit under the all store uh reddit and is um using the jig streamer so i'm gonna show you step by step by step how to set this up so after you click on the link down below in the video description which is gonna be this one right here if you go to the reddit post you're gonna click on get started after you click on get started you need to go to the app store and you need to download zero tier i'm gonna show you right now uh on my screen on my ipad i'm at, uh, i'm gonna show you right now so you guys can see so you basically you're gonna go to the app store you're gonna look for zero tier and you're gonna download and install this app so after you've done that you need to go to the jip uh streamer shortcut so you gotta open the link and the device that you're gonna be using so you're gonna be using your iphone or your ipad you need to go in the browser and you gotta open that link then you gotta click right here with a jip streamer shortcut you click on that and it's gonna ask you to add the shortcut so you're gonna click on add shortcut i already have it but i'm gonna just do it again so you for the sake of it so you guys can see so we're gonna click on it and you're gonna see that you have a new shortcut installed here if you by any chance don't have the shortcut app installed that's that's what's made by apple you could actually re-download by just typing shortcut you you go into the app store type shortcuts so you could actually download the app just in case you deleted it <laughs> and you could get it back that way so after doing that you're gonna do the next step which is gonna be you need to get a jit streamer pair so you're gonna click in here and it's gonna take you to the github and i'm using windows 11 so i'm gonna download the windows.exe they also have a mac version for this and if you are using linux i believe you could run this one using wine you will be able to run the windows version of that and that should be able to work with no issues but uh, like I said, I'm using Windows, so I already downloaded this for the sake of the speed of the video, and I have it right here. So the next thing that you're gonna do is you're basically gonna connect your iPad to your computer, and you're gonna run this program right here to pair it. So you gotta run this, and you're gonna get this this window here. It was something here before, but it was asking you to connect the iPad, but my app is already connected, so that's why it's, my window might look different from yours. Because, like I said, my app is already is being connected to the computer, just for the sake of saving time. So the next step right now to do is the following. So right here, this is what you need to do next. Pay attention to this because this, when you see an icon like this, this is a uh, this is a part that needs to be taken care of on the phone or your device, and this one is on the computer. So we're gonna click on next, and this is the next step. So we gotta open zero tier. We're gonna open zero tier, open zero tier, and we're gonna enter a new connection. So we're gonna enter this connection here. So we're gonna click on the plus right here on the top right corner. I'm gonna walk you step by step. I'm gonna have the screen on my iPad so you guys can see. So we're gonna click on Asset. We're gonna enter the network ID. The network ID that we have over here is uh, 017, lowercase c, 
Oh, it's automatically capitalized. Okay, so it's not key. Since it is zero, Z, two, six, four, B, E, seven, E, C, five, E. That's, that's the one we're going to enter here just in case to um, prevent having any mistakes. You could do this as well. Just go in here and copy this. It will be the same thing. Go back to your zero tier and you could actually paste it in here too. Boom. So we have it here and we're going to click on. Um, okay. We're going to click on the network you feel change the dns to network dns so we gotta go actually here enable on the man no network dns so we go network dns so we gotta tap here in the middle option at the bottom network dns like it says right here so after we enter it we, uh, we gotta change the dns to network dns and we gotta tap on add network to key everything and everything else we gotta keep here by default so the network id go at the bottom network dns and then we after that you're good to go so we're gonna click on add network boom and we have the network right here is the one at the bottom that's the network that we just made okay now we need to run the streamer shortcut while connected to zero tier uh virtual line so basically what you gotta do first you gotta click you see this right here the network we just created where you're gonna enable it so we need to enable this now we gotta go back here we we gotta go back to our shortcuts and this shortcut right here we gotta run this shortcut now so we're gonna run the shortcut and we're gonna open the jit streamer pair so the jit streamer pair is the app right here that i got running the one we just downloaded a while ago so we're gonna run this we're gonna click on allow we're gonna click on yes to, to pair the device oh. and let me see what else is gonna tell us here to do oh there we go to get a print code you will need this in the next step open your sim and pair and plug in your device follow the instruction to generate your payment file entering the code provided by the shortcut when prompted okay so you just gotta wait for this go back now we just gotta let me just close this and open it again stop the shortcut okay what thing this is happening now so i could show you how to stop this so let me disconnect from the network so you could disconnect from here let me just delete the whole shortcut because it kinda, i kind of messed it up so i need to get the shortcut again let me get that shortcut now the shortcut there we go so we got the shortcut back in here i'm gonna connect to see your tier again jit streamer it's already know which one is it so we're gonna click close the shortcut app and we're gonna open it again there we go click on here allow and i just gotta wait for that to show give me the access to the pin that i need to put over here in the screen Let me close this and open it again, just in case there's an error going on. Let me go ahead and let's see. The tier is connected. There we go. It was a delay on that. You will need to pair your device with your streaming service to continue. Do you have your pairing file already generated? We're going to click on no because we don't have that file generated yet. Okay, now it's going to give me the code. When he asks for the code, we're going to enter this code. So well, there we go. Three, four, four, three, five. We're going to enter the code. Successfully pair. Press OK. On the shortcut now. And press Enter to continue. We're going to click OK. And we're going to click this on Enter. Hit this end here. There we go. What would you like to do? Launch on Unknown app. So right now, we already successfully connected to the... 
to this um jet streamer to do this so i'm connected to my wi-fi and i successfully connected so now let's see what we need to do next so it says here okay we connected you want to enable your phone a pop-up menu perfect now oh we already connected that's all that we gotta do it's actually pretty simple it's just gotta be careful following the steps so it's just to show you so so you guys can see what i'm talking about i'm going to turn this off because i'm already registered so i'm already registered perfect the thing is already off i'm gonna turn off to your tier and now i have some emulators ready here to test i got flycast i only got games on this one because i deleted the other ones Lose what happened if i try to launch a game on the emulator i haven't enabled the chip yet let me close it completely because i was using it before there you go so now that it's completely fresh and close look what happens if i try to launch the emulator oh wait wait i like i need to disconnect i'm sorry my usb because i'm since i'm in the same wi-fi this is why it's running because I use it automatically is synchronizing with my aisle server, so that's why it's working right now. So let me turn off the Wi-Fi, so you guys can see, and the, the USB is disconnected, so you guys can see this is not my app is not charging anymore. Let me make sure the app is completely closed. Okay, everything is closed. I'm gonna open the emulator again. I'm gonna try to launch again. You saw what just happened. I click in the game and immediately it closes. So the only reason you guys saw it was working is because, like I said, I'm on my home network and it's automatically using my, my JIT servers to run this. So I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi again and I'm going to connect it with the USB. Turn on the Wi-Fi. I'm going to go to zero tier. I'm going to enable the JIT streamer. I'm gonna swipe this to put this down here. I'm gonna go to my shortcut. I'm gonna run this again. I'm already paired. Now it's gonna ask me which app I will like to run. Let's see. We gotta wait until it says VPN that is connected. There we go, VPN and connected to the server. Now I just gotta wait for that message asking me which app I would like to launch. Let me close this, open it again. There you go. Now that we're connected, click on this. There we go. Launch an unknown app. Launch an unknown app. Let me launch the, an app. You see, now it's asking me which app I would like to launch. So we're going to launch Flycast. Launch Flycast. There we go. Just gotta wait, boom, it launched Flycast. So if I click on the game, it should be able to run without having crashing. Let's see. Boom, and it's working. So the emulator is working. I show you guys it starts to finish how to do this with a couple of errors so you guys can see how to quickly troubleshoot it. So I'm gonna leave everything how, how it is because some of you guys might probably run into the same mistakes I did and this probably will help you to fix it too well as you guys can see the emulator runs successfully using the, the jet streamer so the only thing that you gotta mean to use this is basically is you need to be in a wi-fi connection in order to run this so you basically you're not gonna need all server and being third to your computer or have your computer run with you or for those of you that don't have two ios devices you don't have to carry your iphone or your ipad and so on because as long as you're in a wi-fi and you have zero tier with a server and you have uh and you have the uh, the shortcut installed and you see your shortcut you should be able to run it because very important here and it says right here for that's why i'm bringing this up and i, I keep saying it's only for wi-fi look right here because they have a, a um a q a right here with cellular you see for those of you that were wondering it's just using cellular connection instead of wi-fi because the only downside you need to be on wi-fi to do this so you have to be on wi-fi cellular connection will not work 
Now, Apple has blocked JIT from being enabled over cellular networks. This is a built-in limitation for iOS. So you won't be able to try to do this using um, cellular connection. But what I think that you could do is, if you do carry both of your devices, your iPad and your iPhone, you can just basically just do hotspot from your uh, iPhone to your iPad, and you should be able to, to run it. But just using a straight up cellular connection from the de your device itself connecting to the towers it will not work but the only thing you gotta do is just just be on wi-fi and it, it will work just fine like after everything is set up is pretty simple which i have a little bit um small troubles like putting this properly setting up properly i mean but as you guys can see, it was actually easy to fix. So like I said, I'm going to leave everything how it is. So you guys, just in case you guys run to the same mistake I did, it, it, um, you can fix it right away. But this is a new way for you to run your emulators. So to be honest, it's more simple than my other tutorials. And you guys should be able to enjoy your emulators on the on the go. You just got to be on a Wi-Fi and you can just do this. So it's, it's amazing. And it, and it works I, I was like super surprised like it does have a little delay because probably all the people trying to use the same thing or depending on your whole network but as you guys can see it, it works i just tried with an emulator and i tried with i closed everything to not my wi-fi and tried to run the emulator you saw the emulator crash and now you see that i could launch i could launch uh emulators from here just using that server it is straight up simple amazing and uh i'm sorry i don't know the, the name of the guys but i'm gonna list it down below giving them full credit because this thing is amazing so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this uh quick tutorial even though it probably took me more than 10 minutes but i hope you guys enjoyed this so remember to like and subscribe for more and if you have any questions you having some issues since you saw me run into some other issues here i will try to help you walk through it so we could get you guys set up with this because this is amazing and i know you guys some of you guys don't want to jailbreak your devices because uh, i've done it before and um i don't try to temper with uh, my ipad or my iphone doing that anymore it's just a hassle i just want to keep it as clean as possible and this is using the jit for for my emulators is it's making it it's working out for me so i'm having fun with it so once again guys thank you guys for watching sorry for the delay for the video and i'll see you guys in the next one